Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. And I'm Darren Parkman. And we are the Travel Guys. Well, Kanichiwa and Domo Arigato all the way from the beautiful city of Kyoto in southern Japan. Coming up, we'll head to the ballpark and check out Japan's national pastime. And we'll visit several of the more than 2,000 shrines the city has to offer. Those shrines are everywhere. Look, there's another one right there across the street. Oh my goodness, you're right. The travel guys are in Kyoto, Japan. Next. Come by. Come by. Travel Guys is brought to you by Flight Center, 145 stores across Canada and online at flightcenter.ca. the largest and most important shrine in all of Kyoto. It's the Fushimi Inari Shrine. Two million visitors visit the site every year. And buddy, this place has been around a little while. It dates back to February of the year, are you kidding me, 711 AD. February what, February 10th, 11th? They don't have that exact date, but it's February though. February They, they know that. It wasn't January? No, no, because it was a horse day, the lunar calendar. All right, thank you. We're now at a part of the shrine known as the Tori Gate. It's actually a four kilometer stretch of stone corridors. They actually shot part of the movie Lost in Translation here and filmed the United Airlines commercial here a few years back. And since then, it's attracted even more tourists. Parkman, Darren Parkman, yes. Darren Parkman. Yes. Okay, I'll give you the next one. Hi. Hi, I'm Hi. Jim. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. What's your name? My name is Yokoyama Tsukasa. Yoko. Yokoyama. Yokoyama Tsukasa. 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 Oh! No, it's Tsukasa. Come on, I'm trying. <laughs> Yokoyama Tsukasa. Tsukasa. Slower, slower. Yokoyama Tsukasa. Tsukasa. Yokoyama Tsukasa. Tsukasa. All right. Don't worry, Gato. I'll like the next one. Where are you from? We are from Vancouver, Canada. 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 Canada, yes. Yeah. Yes. As though they like that, actually. Canada, they? Yes. Canada, Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Got a cheering section back yeah, here. I like that. Right behind us. Yeah. There you go. Everybody get Come on. Come on in here. <laughs> Just an audience of myself are wondering who your little friend is here. Well, this is my cat Snowball that I brought over from Canada. He travels with me everywhere. I, I know you're lying, because in all seriousness, that is an, a, a national treasure here in Japan, is it not? It's actually a national symbol everywhere. It's known as the waving cat or beckoning cat. You see him wave. He's, he's in every store yeah, pretty yeah. much in Japan. You can see a bunch of them behind us. And uh, the origin of this little guy is he actually used to be displayed in brothel windows <laughs> throughout Japan. I beg uh, your pardon? There was a symbol in brothels, and it eventually turned into a cat. And now he's just known as the beckoning, waving cat of good luck. So he's, you know, waving, telling you to come on into his your store. Store, okay. Cute little guy, isn't he? Yeah, very cute, actually. Yeah. Well, why don't you pet him? He's friendly. I'll give you one reason. He's not real. I think he is. I, I hear him purring. I'm thinking about inventing a cat that actually says goodbye. Well, it's Saturday afternoon here in Kyoto. The teams have hit the field, and it's time to play ball. Why are you talking in a broadcaster voice? I have no explanation, Jim Gordon. Well, what a lot of people don't realize is that here in Japan, baseball is as popular as it is in the States, and we're going to check out a minor league game right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. That we are. You're going to talk like that the whole game, aren't you? I'll stop, actually. All right.
Take a little break from the baseball game here and getting a nice cold beer. Well, this reminds me of home, waiting in line at a stadium for a <laughs> yes. bit. Today's choice, uh, Asahi Super Dry. Delicious and nutritious. Very popular here in Japan. How much? Uh, 400. It's not bad. What is that? About five bucks for a nice cold beer? A lot cheaper than at home. Cheaper than at home. This is so cool. I feel like I'm at Yankee Stadium in a way, you know? Really? I'm in that spirit. I feel like singing that old ballpark song. What the old ballpark song uh, would that be? Take me out to the Japanese ballpark. Um, I can't pronounce any of the players' names. Oh, I see that you've done there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wasn't a really big fan of that song when it was sung the right way. So maybe just focus on, on your beer in the game, guy. Try. Gotta say, my friend, it's nothing like an ice cold Asahi on a 35 degree, very humid day here in the ballpark. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, these Japanese really take their baseball seriously. Uh, it's the number one sport in the whole country. That's right. And what's amazing here is we're seeing some of these minor league kids who will go up into the Japanese professional league. And we're seeing more and more Japanese players playing in the big American leagues now. How's that aside? You want another? I could use another one or two. <laughs> The Travel Guys is brought to you by Flight Center. Lowest airfare guarantee, or you fly free. So, buddy, we've been uh, in Kyoto a couple days. What do you think so far? Well, besides the fact that it's uh, very, very humid and hot, <laughs> yeah. and I'm having many, many sweating attacks, I have to say it's a very beautiful city. It's a lot smaller than Osaka. Yeah. A lot more intimate, a lot more traditionally Japanese, uh, but very clean. Some great people. Uh, what do you think? I'm loving the food everywhere we go. The food is spectacular, and you're right. The people are so polite in these cities we're visiting. It's having a great far, time. Far more polite than, for example, yourself. Oh, that's a given. Yeah. Well, we've discovered one of the huge pastimes here in Japan it happens to be comic books, of all things, or as they're called here, manga. That's right, buddy. We're at the uh, Manga Museum, where they've got floor after floor of nothing but comic books. And one of the very cool things about comic books here is the Japanese read their books from back to front. You open up mm. the back and you read this way, from right to left, which is kind of hard to get used to. It is, yeah. especially when you can't understand what the characters are saying, either. I'm, I'm, I'm reading my book. I'm, I'm picking up on what's going on. It's funny, hundreds and hundreds of people come here to the museum just to read the thousands and thousands of back issues of comic books, and a lot of these are very rare and aren't available even from the publishers. The only place you can read them is here. You know what, this would be a great idea in our country. I haven't seen any Superman or Spider-Man books no. around anywhere, no? Well, here at the Manga Museum, they have some actual cartoonists, and they're about to immortalize myself and Jim Gordon. We have asked them to make us 15 to 20 years younger with more hair. And I'd like to be wearing a cape. <laughs> <laughs> It's like looking in a mirror. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really sure what I'm, my arms are doing there. You've had a few drinks, it looks I like. Know, I know. Yeah. Channeling Liza Minnelli there, I'm not really sure. But, well, uh, we're immortalized forever, though. Mm -hmm. This is very important for us.
Sir, I'm still having trouble with this whole Japanese yen conversion uh -huh. thing. I got myself 6,000 Japanese yen here. That's six grand. I'm wondering if that would be enough to get myself a good, used, reliable Toyota to get around the city of Kyoto in. You know, it's, it's really misleading. You've got 6,000 6, yen yeah. here, but that works out to about $60. That's what you're paying for the price of a good meal I, here I in the city. I don't think this is six grand. No, again, you're letting you're that... You're sure I couldn't get a good, reliable no, use? No, no, no. You know what? I what, think if I, what if I were to add a crisp new five... Canadian bill in Well, the but then you'd have about, uh, you know, uh, 6,000 uh, 6, and change in yen. Well, no. that's enough to get a good used vehicle. I'm not talking no. about a new car No, here. no, 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 no. See, you're, really, you're just really getting confused by the amount here. I think here. you're confused. I got six grand here. This equals, in Canadian, you said... Oh, it's $60, yeah. I don't know. Did anybody have a calculator? Well, this little narrow street we're walking on in downtown Kyoto actually holds a lot of secrets from the past. That's right, buddy. But 500 years ago, this was the Geisha district. Now, in the present day, it's full of high-class restaurants. We should say Geishas do still exist in Japan, but it really is kind of a dying tradition. Now we're at another shrine. This one is known as the Hian Shrine. Hian is Japanese for peace and tranquility. And there are over 2,000 temples and shrines in Kyoto alone, but what sets this one apart is it's an exact replica of the original Imperial Palace. Now behind us is a very special entrance. Tell us about it, please. Well, when you walk through that grass ring at the front of the uh, shrine here, legend has it, it will make you much more wise. Wow. And we could use that. We could use yeah. that, yeah. Well, was the was there any epiphany there? Do I I at least look a little wiser from that uh, brass ring? I gotta tell you, if wisdom is in your soul, my friends, only the trees and the wind can answer that, and you too. Wow, it clearly made you wiser. I made all that up. You're like becoming a mentor to me. Do you have any <laughs> seminars upcoming that I could? I, I do visit? actually. Yeah. Man, there is nothing like an ice cold Kieran after a hard day of, well, sightseeing. Sightseeing. Wasn't that hard? It wasn't that difficult, yeah. Darren and I are in one of the many little cozy bars you can find in the downtown Kyoto area. People like to stop in here for a drink and uh, maybe a quick bite to eat on the way home. You say cozy, but really, they're actually very, very small little bars and they're everywhere yeah. in downtown Kyoto. And uh, I gotta say, my friend, cheers to you. Cheers. And uh, once again, we're the only two guys wearing sport coats. Yeah. Kampai! Kampai! Cheers! Cheers! cheers. Hey, hey, Jim. We're not the only guys with a sport coat. I know, somebody else is going to jump in. I like that. That's good. You are all about dress. <laughs> Well, we're having some great time with some nightlife here in Kyoto at the Komaya Tea House. We mentioned there are not a lot of geishas left in Japan, but we're going to see a genuine geisha performance tonight. I'm excited. As am I. And on top of that, they're going to feed us an excellent meal we can't lose. Sounds good. This is pretty cool. We're being served beer by a genuine geisha. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. You know, why should we be having all the, uh, all the delicious asahi beer? I, I've authorized our geisha host here to have some beer as well. You've authorized, have you? You know, this guy, management's going to authorize you right out of this place. <laughs> I'm feeling important, actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, how do you got to it? Well, I got to tell you, I'm loving this uh, Kamaya restaurant. We're now inside enjoying some fantastic, fantastic Japanese food and a uh, bottomless glass. 
It pretty much is. And you know what? I'm, I'm really digging this, this whole geisha lifestyle. In Canada, it takes, what, 30 minutes to get a glass of water? <laughs> we cannot True. finish a beer before no. it's filled again. It's unbelievable. And, and the good news? This is going to lead right into a geisha performance We're going to see after a dinner. Geisha yeah. performance. Looking forward to it. Come by. Bye. Well, we are surrounded by a heck of a lot of bamboo at the moment. That's right, buddy. We're at the uh, Kyoto Bamboo Forest. Now, the bamboo that grows in this area is only grown in this 10-mile area. That is some thick, stocky bamboo. <laughs> it is. And it's not used for construction anymore, but uh, the shoots and the roots, I guess, are, are considered a delicacy to eat here. Have you ever had that before? I've tried bamboo. And? It's delicious. Thumbs up. Well, because it's a tradition, because we're lazy, because we tire easily. Also because it's about 38 degrees with humidity. <laughs> we've decided to take ourselves a leisurely rickshaw ride here in the bamboo forest. And uh, yeah, it's going to be relaxing. And it, it avoids us actually having to exert ourselves in any way. And also when you're in Japan, that's one thing you must do. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, thank you. Step right here. Thank you. Inside. Speak good English. Thanks. OK. Uh -huh. Bit of a tight fit here, huh? Yeah. Like, can you move over a little bit? Or I cannot go over any further, right. sir. There you go. I don't like being this close to you. You're not my first choice, but. No. Uh, okay. No. There's a seatbelt law with rickshaws, you know that. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Right. There we go. There you go. My name is Kazier. Kazier. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're very strong. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's very cool. This is an yeah. old tradition, and uh, it's relaxing. Uh, I'd like to have one of these back at home, maybe. Someone could pull me around so I wouldn't have to actually walk. Where would you park it, though? Yeah. Well, now it's time for a little thing we like to call Jim and Darren Meet the People. Or, as it's also known, approaching total strangers that would normally ignore us. Let's go. Do you speak English? No? Uh, you getting lots of compliments on those Elton John glasses? Uh, yeah, you know, they could be a little bigger, but, you know, make do. <laughs> you mind if I try them on? Sure. Thanks. Billy and the Jets. Uh, Kenichiwa, what is your name? Um, my name is Kota. Kota, tell our viewers what is the best thing about Kyoto? I think it's uh, food. The food. Now, I'm yeah. a Canadian. Yeah. Do you respect me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Kanichiwa, can we ask you a question? TV show, TV show, come on, okay. Number one GMP. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I believe. Speak any Japanese yet? Yeah? yeah. I do myself. You want to hear? Yeah. Hang on. Watashino Name wa Darren. What did I just say? Well, you tried to say my name is Darren. Are you hungry? I got I got a shrimp whoa, for it. Whoa, really? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, it's rubber. It's rubber. Unbelievable. Oh, a little Japanese whoa. Canadian humor. Oh, my sides are aching. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is like a bad Japanese game show. <laughs> North, south. Yeah. <laughs> West, east. Well, it's pretty hard to find a place more serene than we are right now. This super exclusive resort just outside Kyoto is accessible only by boat. Hoshinoya Resort is an exclusive place. And if you're looking for that kind of anti-city stay, this resort is where you want to stay. Do you notice how quiet it is? Yeah, you know, I probably will notice how quiet it is when you stop talking. Good points. All right. But it's serene, it's quiet, a little uh, glass of vino. Um, are you getting a bit of a draft, though? Yeah, a little draft up the old kimono here, yeah. It's refreshing, though, isn't it?
Well, we've had a great time here in Kyoto, but it's time to take off. But before we leave, as we always do, let's check out Jim and Darren's top five coolest things about Kyoto, Japan. Number five, stepping back in time at the shrines in Kyoto. How come they're all uh, painted bright orange, by the way? It's their lucky color. Good. Number four. It's got to be being immortalized forever at the Japanese Manga Comic Book Museum. Boy, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Yeah, mine's a little cracked. Hey, you've had a few drinks there. <laughs> yeah, I've had a shock. Number three. Enjoying the fantastic Japanese food. I didn't have the heart to eat these two little guys. They've become friends of mine. You've grown attached to them, haven't you? Yeah. You know, they're plastic. I know, but there's no expiry date on them, which is fantastic. Number two. Being served sake by a genuine geisha. My friend, I hate to say it, but I think we've, we've hit the big time here. It really does not get any better than this. I love a top up. <laughs> Thank you. And the number one coolest thing about Kyoto, Japan. A sunny Saturday afternoon at the ballpark and ice cold Asahi beer. And need I say more, my friend? No. Cheers. Here's to Cheers. avoiding heat stroke. <laughs> this is keeping us hydrated, by the way. We'll see you next time on the travel, guys. The Travel Guys has been brought to you by Flight Center, 175 stores across Canada and online at flightcenter.ca. Air transportation for the Travel Guys to Japan provided by Japan Airlines. While in Kyoto, the Travel Guys stayed at the Hyatt Regency and the Hosonoya Resorts.